कम टू द क्वेश्चन दैट इज रिलेटेड टू योर डेटा सफिशियंसी डी एस मीन्स टू अ स्टेटमेंट हैज गिवेन एंड वी हैव टू वेरीफाई दीज टू अ स्टेटमेंट आई दर इंडिविजुअली और कंबाइंडली इट इज सफिशियंट टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन और नॉट ओके जस्ट विल सी द क्वेश्चन डेटा सफिशियंसी बी शुड बी वी शुड ऑलवेज केयरफुल वाट इन्फॉर्मेशन एक्जैक्टली गिवेन वाट इन्फॉर्मेशन एक्जैक्टली नीडेड टू सोल्व द क्वेश्चन और यू कैन से जस्ट चेक द सोल्वेबिलिटी ऑफ द क्वेश्चन मीन्स दैट इन्फॉर्मेशन और अ स्टेटमेंट इज सफिशियंट टू सोल्व और नॉट no need to solve exactly only we have to check the sufficiency here four option has given mark a if question can be answered with the help of a statement 1 alone mark b if question can be answered with the help of a statement 2 alone mark c if one and two a statement are both are needed to answer the question and mark d if combinedly a, a statement 1 and 2 also not suffice if the question cannot be answered means if you are combining 1 and 2 also you are not able to answer then based on that only we'll do the marking questions are little bu peep lost her sheep she couldn't remember how many were there okay one line is given leave it she knew she would have 400 more next year so, so you can say some uh, some number or few number or certain number certain number of sheep has lost but how many was lost that is not confirmed one thing is confirmed c knew the c would have 400 next year if that many c would be there it would be 400 next year based on some maybe some reproduction number of c will increase then next year it will be 400 but this year how many c was there and how many was lost c doesn't know exactly then the number of ships c had last year how many c were there they are telling to find now statement 1 the number of sheep last year was 20% more than the year before that and the simple rate of increase continues to be the same for the next 10 years by looking wise it looks sufficient because 20% has given for next 10 years then last year last to last year this year next to next year we will able to find because one number it is given next year it is 400 means this year we will able to find just will do the reverse calculation we will able to do it but only issue is there is this a statement is 100% sufficient to give the answer or check the solve check the check the solvability of the question this question no why because this 20% whatever is given rate of interest anywhere it is not given what is the compounding rate compounding rate means it is annually increasing or it is half yearly increasing or it is monthly increasing it is not given anywhere due to this statement is not sufficient due to data sufficiency be extra careful then a statement one everything is fine but time to compounding the interest it is not given or time to compound compounding the increase here not interest here increasing is there to increase it is not given the statement one is not sufficient a statement two is the telling the increase is compounded annually now if only you will take a statement two then again you will not able to conclude because other data is not there rate of increase how many years it is given in a statement 1 then alone a statement 2 again not sufficient but if you are just merging both of the statement then what is there it is sufficient because a statement 2 and everything you know only you were not knowing what is the rate of compounding that is given in a statement 2 then once you are merging a statement 1 and 2 you will able to give the answer 